Once you've assembled your antenna using the instruction manual, you will need to find the desired satellite using the Hughes DAPT-3. This device is connected as follows. IDU to the indoor unit, radio to the antenna. Installed, you will now need to go to your indoor unit and set it into pointing mode. Connect your Hughes HT2000 modem to the mains and the down lead from the antenna as shown. Please ensure that the power clip is securely fixed. Note there is a slide to secure. Give the terminal a few minutes to boot up and, re and receive a LAN connection from the laptop. Once the LAN connection is complete, open any browser. Browse to the following address 192.168.0.1. You are now logged into the Hughes terminal. Firstly, you need to install a satellite based configuration file, SBC for short. Inside the Hughes GUI, there is a hidden icon as shown. Click the hidden icon. Now click Installation, Advanced, Upload SBC Config. Browse your PC to find the SBC config supplied by Hughes. Click Upload. Once uploaded, reboot the HT modem. Once the HT modem has rebooted, click on the home button. Now click install. This page displays the information uploaded by the SBC file. The required satellite and the antenna size. Latitude and longitude must be entered by the field engineer for the desired location. Next click submit. The Hughes modem is now in pointing mode. Note the pointing screen will give you your desired azimuth and elevation. The Hughes DAPT3 is now receiving voltage from the indoor unit. Press number 3 to log. Once 
logging is done, press number 3 again. The DAPT3 is now in pointing mode. Set the desired elevation. In this case, it's around 27 degrees. Once the elevation has been set, sweep the antenna asthma to achieve a lock. A lock will be indicated by the tone changing on the DAPS 3 pointing device. The live SQF is now shown on the screen. The value on the right is the actual value. The value on the left is the highest value seen. Tighten the azimuth bolts, as shown. Peak the antenna using the fine adjustment. Secure the locking bolts. To fine point the azimuth, loosen the three bolts underneath and use the adjustment. Once optimised, ensure all hardware is tight and secure. On KU band antennas, you will also need to optimise the cross pole. Simply loosen the two bolts and turn to achieve optimal signal.
cross bolt is adjusted, secure the two bolts. Once the antenna pointing is complete, you should see a receive light on the HT modem. To continue with installation, simply click next. The modem will now connect to the Hughes knock, carry out ranging and associate with an IP gateway. Once these steps are complete, simply click terminal service activation. To activate the service, simply add the site ID supplied by Hughes and press submit. Terminal activation is now successful. You can check your system status using the link there. Once terminal activation is complete, you will see the system light on the HT modem showing that the terminal is now configured. DHCP is now disabled. Log back into the modem, you will see the system status is green and the site ID is now displayed in the software. Installation is now complete.